everybody, it's James from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, July 8th, 2020, and this is your weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I pick up some comic books for me, for my daughter, for my sons, and I always get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comics, check out the comic shop. Uh, I'm doing this in my basement. I'm actually doing it in the car this time. That's because I had to re-record it, because for some reason it recorded up and down instead of horizontally. And I couldn't get it to flip, so I said, you know what, I'm going to redo it. I'm just going to take them in the house and I'll redo it. So this is what I got. Um, now there are back issues, and there are new issues in the stack. Today was the first Wednesday in a while that's kind of felt like a normal Wednesday. We had a good amount of Marvels, a good amount of DCs, and a good amount of Independence. This is also the first week where DC has shipped their books on their from their new distributors. They no longer ship book through, books through Diamond. They're doing their own thing now through, I think, three different distributors. Um, and I don't know if I said this in the videos before, but I help unpack the boxes at Queen City Comics in the morning, and then I get my books and I take off. Um, so the books that were packed by the new DC distributor, though, they were packed pretty poorly. Um, they were all jumbled. Like, you'd get a few books, and then you'd get another book, and then you get some more of that book you first had, and then a stack was upside down, and the other way, and this way, and that way. But the worst thing is, is that they would put the books in the boxes... And as they put them in, they wouldn't be in straight. So they'd put a book in like this and then put a stack on top of it. And then this book would just be bent down. So every c damage that we had this week was a DC Comics damaged book. And it wasn't due to shipment, which a lot of times it is where a box gets dropped or hits on a corner or something like that and it damages the books inside. It was actually damaged due to the packing. So that was disappointing to see and I hope it's not a sign of what the future holds with DC's new distributors. But none of that matters. You just want to see what books I bought. So, back issues. I went ahead and got some Secret Wars today. I've already finished off um, all the X-Men related books from Giant Size up through Age of Apocalypse now. And now I'm going back and I'm picking up other appearances of the X-Men, especially ones in the 80s, that maybe I don't have or maybe I want another copy of. I do have a full set of Secret Wars, the original, and they're really nice shape. So I was like, you know, I'd, I'd like to get a reader set, a set that I could take out and the, the, the boys can borrow or whatever. So I'm trying to build a sort of not quite as minty set of those. So I grabbed what they had at the comic shop, and that was Secret Wars number two. Secret Wars number four, which has one of my favorite comic covers of all time. Beneath 150 billion tons stands the Hulk, and he's not happy. That's awesome. Uh, Secret Wars number five, the X-Men Strike Back. Number six, with the villains on the cover. Number nine, Attacking Galactus. Number ten with the battle-ravaged Doctor Doom. Number 11, the Face of Doom. Number 12, After the Big Bang, final issue of the series. And then for Secret Wars 2, which was not as good as Secret Wars 1, and has only a nine-issue limited series, we've got issue 1, issue 2, issue 6, and issue 7. So i got a little ways to go to finish them off, but, you know... It is what it is. Okay, so this is a new book today. It's actually an old book reprinted, but with new pieces. So we've got X-Men, God Loves, Man Kills by Chris Claremont and Brent Eric Anderson. The extended cut, number one of two. God Loves, Man Kills is one of my favorite X-Men stories of all time. It formed the basis of X-Men 2, um, X2, X-Men United, the second movie. And it's, it's awesome. It was originally published as one of the Marvel graphic novels. This time we've got it as two issues. So we've got one of two here. $4.99 each, with a new framing sequence written by Chris Claremont and drawn again by Brent Eric Anderson that ties this in with Chris Claremont's recent X-Men Black Magneto issue, which is not that recent. And then this begins the reprint. So if you've never read X-Men God Loves, Man Kills, here's your chance to read it. And it's got some nice interview stuff in the back with Claremont and uh, Brent Anderson. And yeah, it's two issues. It's Really good X-Men. You should you should buy this. If you've never read this, you should buy this. So I got one for Keaton, normal cover. Normal cover for me. And then I also bought all three variants. That's how much I like God Loves, Man Kills. I don't usually care about variants. But in this case, I was like, man, it's God Loves, Man Kills. I gotta get the variants. So I got all three of the covers on this one. Or all four, including the standard. All right, now this book is for Gracie. We've got Batman Adventures, DC Classics, number two. $1.99 reprint of the original Batman Adventures, issue two. 
Why these aren't just dollar comics, I mean, other than that it's a cash grab, I don't know. But these books are so good that I don't even care. I don't care about the extra dollar. This is by uh, Kelly Puckett and Ty Templeton, I want to say. Yep, Kelly Puckett and Ty Templeton. And this one features Catwoman. These were not a direct adaptations of Batman animated episodes, but they were so close in feel and look that they could have been episodes. So this is a unique comic adaption of a cartoon in that it wasn't just adapting issues. I don't know if my phone jumped there or not. It had lost the power there for a second. Um, it didn't just adapt cart comics into an into a... Uh, sorry, it didn't just adapt episodes into a comic. It did its own thing. It's kind of a trendsetter in that way. So, and it was great. This wasn't just a great Batman animated comic. It was a great Batman comic. Yeah, so, real good. And then we've got Batman the Adventures Continue, number two, which is what it exactly says, Batman the Adventures Continue. So it's a continuation of the Batman the Animated Series universe in comic book form, introducing concepts that never appeared in the animated series. This is written by Alan Burnett and Paul Dini, with, again, Ty Temple doing the art. So we've got concepts like Jason Todd as the Red Hood, and we've got Deathstroke the Terminator, things that didn't appear in the cartoon, but how they would have maybe been handled had they been brought into the cartoon. So I got that one for Blaze. He didn't read the first one. Well, he didn't get the first one. He read Keaton's copy. But this one has a Sean Gordon Murphy cover, and he loves Batman White Knight. So he said, yeah, get that for me. I want that. And this is something else here for Blaze. Blaze asked me to pick up the Kingdom Come trade. This is 1999. This is the classic tale from Mark Wade and Alex Ross of a future DC universe where basically the 90s hero mentality has taken over, where there's heroes that kill, the anti-heroes are they're fighting in the streets, good guys fighting good guys, or anti-hero versus anti-hero. And all the old guard has sort of retired and gone and done their own thing, but they have to come back to stop this. So it's, it's a really great Superman story, especially. It's got amazing painted artwork throughout from Alex Ross. And even though Marvel's put Alex Ross on the map, this is really what cemented him as, like, one of the preeminent comic forces. So, and that is it for this week. So we've got a trade, we've got a couple of new, a, a new DC book, a reprint DC book, and a Marvel book that's partially reprint and partially something new. And then we've got some back issues. Uh, what did you guys pick up this week? Leave a comment down below. Subscribe, notify, like, all that stuff. Um, yeah. And I guess I'll see you guys next week.